to talk about a stock which has some momentum behind it. It has been buzzing around for the last couple of trading sessions after dipping in the previous week. It's Kalyan Jewelers and that's on Vivek's uh, momentumizers list. Vivek? Well, uh, good morning. Well, this particular stock caught our attention on the back of, you know, the very strong up move that we saw in the session yesterday. I remember this particular stock, you know, all throughout uh, November as well as the early part of December actually continued to hit uh, fresh uh, lifetime highs. Uh, yesterday, the stock was up almost 13 percent, almost entirely re recouping the losses that it saw in Friday's trading session. Remember, in Friday's trading session, uh, the steep fall was actually on muted volumes. So, you know, the recovery has been quite sharp as soon as the markets reversed. Uh, now, remember the 52 weeks high for this particular stock is that a little over 131 rupees a share which it hit uh, you know on December 20th so last week Wednesday is when the stock was at the high uh, this particular year this stock has done exceedingly well 77 percent up in 2022 almost 15 percent up in just uh, December uh, you know 2022 and since October 2022 where a couple of triggers were identified uh, by HSBC in an initiating coverage note the stock has done exceedingly well uh, technically speaking the stock is trading above all three of its key DMAs the 50 100 as well as 200 DMA now, the HLPC note, you know, although it came a lot earlier, they identified a couple of key inflection points as far as, you know, the entire jewellery sector is concerned. They said that, number one, um, uh, mandatory hallmarking as well as GST is actually pushing jewellery buyers to go towards, you know, the larger organized stores. And they believe that this is a trend that is here to stay. And company specific, what they're saying is that the company is looking to go to, you know, businesses and go to uh, markets outside of South India where it had a dominant presence earlier. All right, we take that point, Vivek. Thanks a lot for that. And for companies like Kalyan Jewelers and uh, Titan, you know, pre-result season is extremely important as we are heading towards the end of a quarter. The pre-quarter update is a lot of uh, what uh, a lot of people position themselves for. And the quarter that just ended, the third quarter, is going to be significantly strong for both Titan as well as Kalyan Jewelers because of the festive season and the wedding season as well. With that, we'll uh, take a short break, come back. We'll uh, uh, be joined by Mitesh Thakkar as well as Sudarshan Sukhani for a quick technical ideas. Stay tuned.